Calvin McFadden was hard at work in the kitchen starting at 2.30 in the morning. It's something we get some pride and joy in, giving the people a good meal today. The annual Thanksgiving banquet at the Miami Rescue Mission is a big undertaking, but one he says is well worth the effort. I've been doing it for the last 15 years since I've been here. And I had retired, but I decided to come back and do this special event today because I really feel like giving something back. The mission been good to me, and uh, the Lord knows we just need to give something back. They're giving back in the form of 200 turkeys, 200 pies, 100 pounds of mashed potatoes, 150 pounds of stuffing, and a lot more. Hundreds of volunteers make the annual event possible. Some do it every year. People like Derek Dumas, who's been influenced by the rescue mission early on. Since we were 12, me and a couple of other guys, you know, picked us up, brung us around. He says playing at the rec center and having mentors kept him on the right path. It's in my heart, you know. It's always great to give back, you know, especially when somebody uh, gives to you. So, you know, if I, if I can do anything to give back, why not? That's a lesson Joanna June wants to instill in her son. It's become a tradition now. He's been doing it since seven. Ten and years. Yeah, so I make sure he does it every year. I'm giving food. I feel better about myself. It's, it just, it warms you up inside. And these barbers are making sure people feel polished on the outside. It's free. They sit down. They get catered to for the day. And it's just a joyful moment for us and them. Terrell McKay has actually been through the rescue mission program, and now he's helping others. Everybody can make a change. Everybody can straighten out their life. Something new this year, they're packing up entire boxes of food and hygiene products for the people they serve to take with them. When you do good, you're always going to get a good response. Director Antonio Villasuso says they grow every year, hoping to serve as many as they can. That's all we want to do is try to be uh, a light in this dark community. And, and you know, we just we've been here since 1922 and we're the caring place for a reason. Brought together in faith and fellowship, giving thanks over the simple joy of a home cooked meal. <laughs> A meal of this magnitude took about 10 days of prep work. The Miami Rescue Mission says they expected to serve about 3,000 people across their three separate locations, 1,500 of those here in Miami alone. At the Miami Rescue Mission, Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News.